In this video, I'm going to show you the brand new Ripple Delete Silence feature in DaVinci Resolve 20.2. There's been a number of new feature enhancements that have come out in this tiny little update. This one is going to be the one that I'm going to use the most, whether you're recording a podcast, face to camera interview, anything with a vocal, basically. This audio tool will really help clean up and make that vocal stand out in the mix. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and check out the brand new Ripple Delete Silence feature. Before using the new feature, make sure you're in the edit window and you've dragged your video and audio clips onto the timeline and you have selected the audio clip that you would like to affect so that you can visualize the effect better make sure that you increase the height of the audio amplitude on the waveform window and also you can use the plus minus here to increase the horizontal display click on the timeline view options menu to increase the audio file height so that you can see the best display of the waveform. Then we're going to click on the clip option above, audio operations, and ripple delete silence. We're going to adjust the threshold slider, and then you can adjust the pre-head and post tail, and minimum to strip options if you need to. I felt that the cutoff was a little bit abrupt, so I've just changed the post tail to one frame at the beginning. And I'm just going to add a bit of a cross dissolve there, which will make it a little bit smoother. And now I'll click on remove. Just like you saw in the intro, the edit is tighter, no wasted time on silent gaps, and it flows with that fast paced, punchy YouTube jump cut style. And the best part is that it all came together with a single click using the brand new Ripple Delete Silence feature in DaVinci Resolve. Whether you're recording a podcast, face to camera interview, anything with a vocal basically, this audio tool will really help clean up and make that vocal stand out in the mix. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, as always, drop them in the comments box below. See you on the next one, bye for now.